What's up, guys? I'm gonna show you how to make a wild card bait. Wild water, bro. What? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm gonna show you how to make a wild um water. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm gonna show you how to make a wild water card bait. Not card bait. Carp. <laughs> Hey, hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a wild water cart bait. Not. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a wild water car. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a wild water cart bait. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a wild water car bait. <laughs> what? Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a wild water cart bait. What's going on guys? We're gonna show you how to do the, uh, my version of the wild water method mix or plain cart bait, whatever you wanna call it. Well, these are gonna be the ingredients. Two tubs of quick oats, one tub old fashioned. We're gonna do 12 Can I ounces. Do of instant grits, which is 12 packets, but I already opened them. And we're gonna do probably the same amount of quick grits. And then it'll be two cans of whole kernel corn with the juice drained out. One big strawberry jello. I don't know how much syrup it's actually gonna take because I'm putting a little bit more stuff than I usually do. So I got one 32 ounce bottle. And then I'm gonna put all that in there and see. And then I got a uh, two pound bag of, it's bird seed, but all this in here is millet. You can read the back of the package, it's all millet. And everybody's gonna say, oh, it's gonna hurt the fish. It's gonna, no, it's not. If it's good for the bird, it's good for the carp. It's not gonna hurt. Anyway, the sunflower seeds will probably float, but we're not at a pay lake, so it's not against the rules. We're going wild water on um, Lake Oconee. We're gonna go out there and camp for the weekend and we're gonna put out some poles and hopefully we can get on them. But yeah, that's the ingredients. I wanna make the bait. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start putting it in the bucket here. What's supposed to be the bait actually? Just put it in the bucket. Put it in the entire thing? Yep, the whole thing. And not pour it all over the floor. That'd be great. I did it. Well, we're back. We had a mess to clean up from Mr. Little Man over there. But he already put one tub of oats in. I'm gonna put the other tub of quick oats. And we got the old fashioned. This is making a ton of bait, guys, for real. Um, we're gonna do the instant grits next. I don't even know how to mix this, to be honest, in that little bucket. It's a three gallon bucket, but that's a lot of bait. Then I'm gonna fill that about halfway up with a quick grit. Make a damn mess. Jesus Christ. All right. Good one. Fill it up, do about a one to one ratio with the quick grits and the insta grits. You don't have to get technical and special and half it and stuff like that like I usually do from I'm just I'm just making regular grits but pour that in there then we'll go do our jello next I guess like I said that's one one big thing of jello pour it in there and we'll do Corn eggs. Doesn't really matter. Like I said, this has a juice, the juice strained off of it. You don't want to put a ton of liquid in there. All right. So this two pounds of uh, bird seed. Jesus Christ! Hold on. Hard to do with one hand. All right, get all 
that in there. Make sure you get it all over the fucking floor. All that good shit. Because if you don't get it all over the floor, are you really making cart bait? No. If you're not making a damn mess in the middle of your kitchen at 1 o'clock in the morning, you're not really making cart bait. Am I right? Let me get that mixed up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys. As you can see, my bucket was too damn little. Had to get the tub out. So that's a bunch of bait. I'm about to put actually another pound of millet in here. Just because I don't, I didn't see enough millet in that bird seed. But uh, that's all I'm going to do is put another pound of millet. And then I'm about to put the Cairo in it. Mix it up real good. And then uh, I'll show you what it looks like after I mix it. And then we'll go from there. Alright guys, we got her all mixed up. I uh, ended up using all 42 ounces of uh, that syrup. So, go over the ingredients again. Again, it is two 42 ounce tubes of quick oats, one 42 ounce tube of old fashioned, 42 ounces corn syrup, two cans of whole kernel corn with the uh, juice drained out. 12 ounces of instant grits, 12 ounces of quick grits. I put an extra pound of uh, millet and two pound bag of bird seed. And a uh, one big strawberry jello. But I'm gonna transfer it back into this bucket right here and let it sit for about an hour. And then I'll come back to y'all with a video of it breaking down. All right, guys, you can see I got it back in that bucket. And that's a lot of bait slapped to the top. All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack up a good ball here and show it to you breaking up. Set you up right here in the water for a second. Wet my hands a little bit. Got me two pickups right there. I'm gonna put in there so you can see it breaking up. Put it in there, pack it up real quick. Packing pretty decent. After it sits a little longer, by the time by the time we throw it tomorrow, it'll be done soaked up all this syrup real good, and it'll be nice. I'll go ahead and drop it in there for you. You got to wash my hands and then get back with you. You can see it's bubbling. Like always, you know, if you if your bait's bubbling, it's breaking. So shouldn't take too too long. So you can see you can see the uh, you see the oats, the quick oats. You see that millet in there. It's uh that's one of the sunflower seeds, I think. Like I said, I'm pretty sure all those are float, so it's not that big of a deal. See it breaking up perfect, huh? About a minute. There's my uh, flavored kick. The old pop should be popping up here in a minute. Like I said, those sunflower seeds are float, but oh, there's the pop. But you see, I mean, that broke down pretty quick. Seemed to work out pretty good. Like I said, you can see the uh, different stuff in there. I wish I had probably about a pound and a half, two pounds of chow to throw in there and give it a little more color, but it is what it is. I mean, that's fine. But you can see that's a ton of bait. Like I said, that's a three gallon bucket slapped to the top. So that should last us uh, while we're there. 
he's making some too, or my cousin's making some too. He's going with me, so. It should be fun. But yeah. Y'all, uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to, uh, film while we're camping. If we catch anything, you'll see a video. If you don't see a video uploaded, you know we didn't catch nothing. Appreciate y'all watching.